I'm sitting here at the base of the first limestone bed and this particular layer or bed is characterized by having lots of what we call climbing ripples. These are symmetrical ripples shaped like that and they result from standing waves in shallow water rather than currents. Currents also make ripples but they're asymmetrical. These are symmetrical ripples made by small waves and they have a characteristic pattern. They're, they're stacked one on top of another such that the, the crest of the ripples in some places continue up for up to a meter of rock. In some places there are also thin, thin laminae that look like um, stromatolytic mats, former stromatolytic mats that would have been uh, growing on the sand. This was calcareous sand originally and stabilizing it, fixing it we say so that, that the sand was no longer loose and the whole uh, layer was stabilized by the microbes permeating it. These sorts of ripples are, as I said characteristic of standing wave systems and those systems are most common in lakes. So this is the part of part of the evidence, the critical part of the evidence that this was a lacustrine system. Established on the volcanic ash that's below us and the first indication of calcium carbonate precipitation somewhere nearby. Not exactly here perhaps because the sediment must have been loose in order for the ripples to form but nearby there was calcium carbonate precipitating out of the water.